Today is Wednesday of the 31st week in Ordinary Time, and Alexio Divina is from Romans chapter 13, verses 8 through 10. Let us begin our prayer in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God our Father, your light of truth guides us to the way of Christ. May all who follow him reject what is contrary to the gospel. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Brothers and sisters, owe nothing to anyone except to love one another. For the one who loves another has fulfilled the law. The commandments, you shall not commit adultery, you shall not kill, you shall not steal, you shall not covet, and whatever other commandment there may be, are summed up in this saying, namely, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. Love does no evil to the neighbor. Hence, love is the fulfillment of the law. In today's first reading from the letter to the Romans, St. Paul reminds us that to be a Christian, we live under the law of love. All of the laws are inconsequential if we do not love our neighbor. In fact, if we do not love our neighbor, our love of God is deficient. In our church life, people can become very legalistic, obeying laws and regulations, yet showing very little love of others. Many put the Ten Commandments ahead of the law of love. Yet as Jesus showed with the Pharisees, it is possible to keep the law without having and showing a shred of love to our neighbor. One can keep many commandments, especially those expressed negatively, by doing absolutely nothing. It is only through the love which we show for all those around us that the quality of our Christian life is measured. It is only by that love that our union with God is manifested. Observing laws, however exalted, is not enough. And doing nothing is of no help either. Love involves a constant and unconditional reaching out to all, friends and enemies, young and old, Christian and non-Christian, educated and illiterate fellow country people and foreigners, close relatives and perfect strangers. And as has been said, it is striking that neither God the Father nor Jesus the Son are mentioned in the whole passage. The message is quite clear. I cannot love God and bypass my brothers and sisters, including the most obnoxious it is no use spending hours in front of the Blessed Sacrament if I am not also constantly reaching out to find and serve Jesus in those around me. It is not difficult to talk to Jesus in the tabernacle. It can be much more difficult with an unreasonable boss or a rebellious teenage son or an aggressive drug addict. Finding Christ there and responding to him in such situations is the real test. At the same time, we thank God for the presence of Jesus in the Blessed Sacrament. It is a wonderful environment for prayer and contemplation and to reflect on the degree of loving others in our daily lives. Pay a visit to Jesus. He has much to say to you. Amen. After our closing prayer, we read the scripture passage and contemplate the message. Concentrate on a thought that comes to you, a verse or even a word that touched you, and ask the Holy Spirit to show you how it pertains to you and how you may spiritually grow closer to him. And so let us complete our divine reading with a closing prayer from today's psalm, 112. Blessed the man who fears the Lord, 
who greatly delights in his commands. His descendants shall be mighty in the land. A generation of the upright will be blessed. Light shines through the darkness for the upright, gracious, compassionate, and righteous. It is good for the man gracious in lending, who conducts his affairs with justice. Lavishly he gives to the poor. His righteousness shall endure forever. His home shall be exalted in honor. Amen.